Greetings, a very pleasant morning to all of you. Today, I, Richa Parekh from St. Thomas High School, Mahua, am here to further continue with the subject of English for the students of class 7th. My dear students, during the previous lecture, we started unit number 5, that is health and nutrition. We already completed activity number 1, which was writing a dialogue between Dr. and Smith for maintaining the good food habit and taking proper care of his health. Today, we are going to start with activity number 2. Here is a story presented, Lord Shiva's advice on good health. So, here is a story in which the advice is given that how to maintain a good health. According to the ancient folklore, People on the earth were embroiled in a controversy about how much they should eat and how often they should bath to lead a long and healthy life. So here, according to the ancient stories and the culture of the people, of a group of a people the, uh, on the earth, it was, uh, it was kind of argument in a difficult situation that how much and how uh, how often they should eat and bath in order to live a healthy life. They decided to pray to Lord Shiva for the guidance. And finally, in order to end this dif uh, disagreement, they started uh, praying to Lord Shiva to give them proper guidance and to guide them in a proper way. Lord Shiva was busy in a meeting with Brahma and Vishnu so he sent his bull Nandi to tell the people to pray three times a day and uh, to eat once a day. On his, Nandi, on his way, Nandi came across a pasture of a green grass and stopped there. He had a good meal of healthy, delicious grass and continued his journey to earth. So uh, the, the people decided to pray to Lord Shiva in order to get proper guidance. And as Lord Shiva was busy in the meeting with Brahma and Vishnu, he sent his bull Nandi to tell the people to pay, pray thrice a day and uh, to eat only once in a day. So as he was busy, he sent his bull Nandi. And when Nandi was coming across, uh, when Nandi, Nandi was on his way to earth, he came across a pasture, that means the grazing land, grazing uh, land of green grass and stopped there. He had a good healthy meal, delicious meal and continued his journey towards the earth. After walking some times, he came across some leafy bushes and stopped again to snack on these leaves. So after some time when he was on his way to earth, after having the uh, green grass from the pasture land, he found some leafy bushes and also stopped there in order to uh, eat those leaves. Then he started his walk again. After a few hours of walking, brought him to an orchard and he was tempted to sample some delicious fruit growing there. So after uh, uh, eating the leafy bushes, he was again on his way. And after a few hours, he came, to near, he came near an orchard and seeing those delicious fruit, he was tempted. That means he was <coughs> very much interested to eat those fruits. As soon as his stomach was full, he started off. He walked for hours and was getting thirsty and dirty when he saw a river in the distance. Nandi was very happy to see the clean flowing water. First he drank some water and then added, uh, then waded into the river to have a bath. After, some, uh, after spending a couple of hours in water, he resumed his journey to the earth so after eating the fruits from an orchard his stomach was full and he uh, he walked for hours in order to reach to the earth so while walking he felt thirsty and even he felt himself dirty so he was happy to see the clean clean flowing water in the river he drank the water and then bathed into the river after spending few hours in water he resumed that means he continued his journey to earth by the time he reached earth, he had so many stops and done so many things that he was confused about Lord Shiva's message. So he told the people to eat three times a day and pray only once, uh, pray once daily instead of advice, of the advice of praying three times a day and eating only once. Since then, the people have been eating more than they need to. 
Now, a thousand years later, the dietitian sort of belief in Nandi's mistake. We are advised to eat four to five times a day in small quantities. So here, what happened that when Nandi was on his way to uh, way to the earth in order to uh, relieve the people from the confusion they had, uh, Nandi was confused that what uh, what advice did Lord Shiva give? What was the message of Lord Shiva? So instead of advising that you must eat only once a day and pray thrice a time thrice a times in a day so uh, he gave the wrong message to the people he said you pray once daily instead of praying three times daily and eat three times a day instead of eating only once so since then the people have the habit of eating more than they need to and now years later the dietitians uh, sought the belief in Nandi's mistake that means they understood that what mistake Nandi did and hence we were advised to eat four or five times a day but in a very small quantity. So I hope dear students that you understood the story. Now let's see, Pre uh, pretend that you are, th uh, you are the teacher and you are going to conduct a test on this story. So prepare three question, uh, three discussion based question on this story. So here let's see the questions. What made the people of uh, the earth approach Lord Shiva and why? So here we need to discuss this. So we are writing the questions. The second question can be, what job was Nandi assigned by Lord Shiva? What did Nandi do all the way long to, to the earth? And why, was, uh, why is such a long description given in this regard? The third question is, what was the message conveyed by Nandi and how do modern dietitians take the message as? So, you need to write this question in your fair book. Let's see the second question. Find the information on fasting months in different religions. So, uh, different types of religions approach different types of methods of fasting, discipline and orientation towards God. That means having the feeling of oneness towards God. Fast can take the variety of forms. They can be partial or total and can vary in frequency and duration. So here I am sharing a PDF file in which the type of fasting of Hinduism, Islam and Christianity is given. So you can write the same in your fair book and in the very next class we will discuss this along with the activity number 3. So till then stay at your home and stay safe. Thank you.